I'm here, I guess, because of Robin Lombardi, <laughs> honestly. Mm -hmm. um, became really good friends with her years ago. Um, not, it was outside of the festival. It was a Halloween party, the first time I met Robin. And she was friends with some other friends of mine, and it was then that I found out about her festival. And then the, the hiatus that it sort of took very shortly after that. Um, we became really close during the hiatus, um, and so this is the first time that I've actually attended the festival. Um, and I think part of why I really wanted to come here is, A, I, I think Marfa is kind of an extraordinary little town, um, but it's also in celebration of bringing the festival back. writer, Torin Belisario, who's back there dancing her butt off right now to some good music, uh, and I both uh, come from the theater, and we love theater, and we still love theater, and we love Romeo and Juliet, but it's sort of a, a, a story that really didn't get to live out and run its full course, and we were always frustrated that they were seen as like the world's greatest lovers. And so she wrote this fantastic short that uh, thought, what if they woke up together and they had escaped, and they were alone together forever just like they wanted, except they realized that they were alone together forever. And that's the idea of the short. You know, the people falling asleep, and I was like, I'm gonna go eat free pizza. That was cool. No, 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 no. 
One day walking along and not so crowded subway, all I saw the man who knew it all. His hands just sewed, his pants just right, and he folded the bottom, no socks, skin tight. Shame for a ball, eyes leaked top my drum, and I was deadly call. He glanced at me for a second's brief gas. My dog didn't love him, stand something he surely never had. My purple zodiac got with my head, sent a craze. The brilliant green eyes of a wild boy's wild days, skin neatly cared for with agony about. Dark fingernails, shorts, wet sandals, no doubt. The man who looked perfect stopped for a second's brief gas. Saw the light of all goodness, that nigga almighty passed. So goes the common ones, though perfect they look. So goes the fool, forget the smile when he shook the eyes they speak even the seconds brief gas could stop my world from burning and give me hope at last i feel like everything here is a photograph yeah it's just so beautiful and so picturesque even the the rundown buildings and the old rundown cars in front of them there's just something so i don't know everything it's very picturesque and it's also just surrounded by 360 degree perfect views. It's it's such an extraordinary place. West Texas is amazing yeah. in that it's just open land. And to have that the, those kinds of open vistas where you can literally like see weather approaching is really remarkable. It's it's always fascinating to me to be here because it's a place that has great limitations. You know, you you you, you don't really have the you know, the creature comforts of a of a major metropolis or a city. Therefore, it's the people that move here have a specific reason for being here and get something from being here. And I think that's reflective in, in the way that they interact with people and the, the sort of spirit that they are. There's something really beautiful. There's a good spirit here, I think. I think it attracts a certain kind of person. Mm -hmm. I don't think the city's for everybody. And in the best way, you know, I think it... It, it tends to attract uh, an interesting and, and relatively diverse group of people.